Hi, so I'm Angela, and here's how my life really stacks up. I'm 50% an executive director and 50% an entrepreneur and 120% a wife and mother. So through that lens, I want to talk to you about some lies you've been spreading in your membership brochure. <laughs> like this one. It's easy to join. Yeah. And it's easy to refinance your home and lose 30 pounds, right? <laughs> so Facebook needs my first name, last name, and email, and I'm in. Now that's easy, and that's what people think is easy. The other one, Sarah stole my thunder yesterday. Benefits include advocacy, but she's right. What did she say? I reap the benefits of advocacy whether I pay dues or not. To my knowledge, there's never been a law passed that says members of ABC get a tax credit in 2012. So the third one, that special offer. Here's the thing, who's it special to? You want me to join your association for a year or two and I get a free book. I like books. But this is a book that's in your warehouse because nobody bought it last year. <laughs> so special. <laughs> And why won't we drop that whole idea of saving money? Because really, to get value out of an association, you've got to get involved, which usually means spending more time and more money. Worth it, but savings, I'm not so sure. Well, thank God for the membership directory. Because I can find that guy I met at the conference last summer. As long as I have my card with the number on it, and I remember my password, and I logged in, and I paid my dues, and he did too, and your database is flawless. Or I could Google him. <laughs> So, what though, <laughs> if you take out these lies and then you don't have a brochure? <laughs> I've got a solution for you. Don't have a brochure. <laughs> okay. Really, it doesn't need to be our number one priority anymore. Why not put that energy in your website? For two days, we have been talking about cre com creating compelling content and pinning fabulous photos, and we're going to lead people back to that page that says what? Founded in 1947, right? <laughs> so instead, a better idea, a drip campaign. Drip, drip, drip. The tipping point, they join. Content, value, relevance. The prospect's bucket gets full and they sign up. You can start the drip campaign with a simple letter, a warm update from your president, a letter in an envelope with a stamp, and no brochure, okay? <laughs> because the brochure makes it get screened out and the letter will make it to the inbox. And the letter has some credibility, and you need a lot of credibility to bring that prospect from knowing you to liking you, and from liking you to trusting you. There is no four-color trifold that's gonna get one person all the way through that continuum. Now, I know the reality. We need collateral materials to do our job. We need printed pieces. But I have one request. If you must do a brochure, please, please, please don't give it to a committee. Now, I know, committees are invaluable to our work. Committees are invaluable to our work, and none of my committee members are gonna find this, right? So, <laughs> just want that. But if you're not careful, there'll be an obstacle, and there you are in trouble, because committee members want logical reasons for people to join, and people join for emotional reasons. So you gotta do the hard work and find those emotional words with big impact. They're not all the same. Animal, fish, shark. This is my kitchen, a well-stocked professional kitchen. Now imagine you come to my home and we go inside and we sit down and I say, I'll be right back. Help yourself. What would you do? Or imagine that I come in with a plate of fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. I made them just for you, Sherry, have one. What would you do? Okay, human nature is to accept the offer that's personal and specific. So you're not lying about the offer, you're lying about it being special. <laughs> I found this definition of selling that I really love because it turns out we don't even have to lie. <laughs> selling is emotionally engaging someone toward a future result that's good for them. Good for them. Martin Luther King was selling, so was Mother Teresa and JFK, so was Hitler. Good for them. And in our job, selling that's good for them means a stronger community because the outreach that we do adds strength to the community. The engagement that we work on brings soul to that community. And then that community can create change. And maybe it's a change in one person's job, but maybe it's a change in the good for the better of, meant of all good. But I know one thing for sure, and that is in this fast-paced, constantly changing world, those communities need smart strategy, authentic messaging, 
and talented people like you to get it done. Thank you.